Hey guys, so I'm not feeling all that well today, um, but I'm going to power through and talk to you today about Openly Straight, which is um, a novel about a um, gay boy, and he moves high schools in his 11th grade year to an all-boys high school um, in order to shed the gay boy label. Um, and it's definitely that is one of the biggest issues that is talked about in the book, um, is this idea of shedding labels, um, and moving from this label of gay, basically, to closet gay, I guess you could say. He says he's at the door of the closet, so he's not really telling anybody that he's gay, but he's also not telling anybody that he's straight. Um, and so he's trying to shed that label and live a normal life and I think that's interesting because we all kind of deal with that aspect and we all kind of um, try to shed these labels as we go through our life and kind of move from one stage to the next and it's kind of hard to get rid of that label so he does it by moving to an entirely different school um, it's definitely a love story it's a very typical love story to me um, two people who aren't supposed to fall in love and they do because um, one of the boys is straight and he's been known as straight um, and he just has this spiritual connection with Raph who is the main character um, and so Raph and Ben become very close friends and um, they just get to know each other and they're very um, adoring of one another and it becomes this not, I don't want to say gay love, but it becomes this love that's very spiritual, very connected, and they they don't know where to go from there. And so um, it's definitely something, to me, it's a very typical love story, like Spark, um, Nicholas Sparks' books and stuff, two people who aren't supposed to fall in love, and they do. Um, it's a very sweet story to me. I'm very um, disgruntled at the end because it doesn't end up the way that I wanted it to. Um, but I'll let you kind of decide that for yourself once you read it. Um, I'm not going to just spoil that or let you know how it goes because I wanted to end a certain way and it did not. Um, but it's definitely a different story for me. I've never really read other than like man and woman falling in love. And this one was just such a sweet story. It was so, um, so sensitive to me and I really enjoyed that aspect of it. Um... For me, I definitely love the writing style. It allowed us to get Raph's past and his present together. And it, um, at one point, the teacher, one of his teachers says that um, you're at this point where your past and your present have come together. And you get to write about that now. And I think that's um, part of his story is like his past and his present have come together. And now he's having to deal with those things and um, f bring those together and fight that label in his present instead of in his past now and um, so I think that's a very interesting aspect but I think you should read it just because it does deal with labels and it is a very um, relative book to all of our lives because it does deal with love and labels and um, change definitely and so I think um, it's a good book, and I think you should pick it up. I loved it. I'm still disgruntled at the end, so I can't say that it's my favorite because I wanted it to end a different way, but um, I definitely think you should pick it up and read it and tell me how you like it.